Hello, SMTC folks. I hope everyone is doing good and welcome to another session of most frequently asked Salesforce developer scenario based interview questions. And as usual, today I have come up with another scenario and I will walk you through that as well so, so that you are able to crack the interviews hopefully. So, for today, I have uh, come up with a scenario like whenever an account is created, uh, as soon as it is saved, a related contact should also be created automatically. So this will be the scenario given to you. Now you decide how will you achieve. Because the first thing that will come up is I will have to write a trigger because it is a triggering context event and then we will have to perform a logic inside that trigger to create the contact record. And once again this can also this can be achieved by other processes as well without code but the interviewer will ask you specifically to write a trigger to achieve this functionality because you want to see the coding ability and your knowledge how to do best practices and how to follow best practices of salesforce trigger or apex <clears throat> so let's get started and i will show you how you can achieve this so i hope i'm clear whenever you create a new account a related contact should automatically get created suppose this account got uh, my, might have been inserted previously and it it has two contacts that would have been manually created but one has to be created automatically for new accounts okay so here it is let's go to developer console and try to create a new apex trigger let's name it as account trigger or acc trigger choose the object as account then submit now you here all your coding abilities your best practices knowledge and your logical framing ability will be showcased while writing this code so before we write the code i will show you a scenario where it this functionality does not exist as of now just create a new account and we'll quickly show you that there will be no related contact for this one see zero contacts are there okay let's go to developer console once again and now you have to decide which context you have to use here i think it is clear that only when the account is inserted that time you have to create a contact so triggering context will be insert but which before or after so as i said as per the best practices if the trigger is written on account and in the logic you have to insert or update another object which is not account then at that point of time we have to use after i'm repeating it again if the trigger is written on one object no matter it is any object suppose account but in your logic you have to insert or update another object which is not account then you have to use after event but if you wanted to update the account object itself then before event was recommended so here we have to create contact object based on account trigger so here we will use after insert after the account is inserted into the database then my logic will be performed and contact will be created okay this is first thing is done now we have to consider bulkification we need to understand that on not only one account will be created at a time but also there can be a bulk data load activity which means more than hundreds or thousands of records will be inserted at the same time and this trigger should be able to handle all of them so we will consider we will take it in our mind that multiple records of account got inserted and for each account i have to create one contact understood so this is called bulky 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 bulkification basically sorry and yeah let's proceed so what will i do is i will iterate over these newly created accounts <clears throat> and where will i get the newly created accounts from it's the trigger dot new context this means all the accounts that have been recently inserted due to which this trigger got fired will be stored in this particular list this will return me a list of new accounts okay so i am iterating one one by one next thing is every for every account i have to create a new contact okay so i have to create a contact object inside the loop this is to ensure that new contact is created for every account 
school and yes most important thing i have to link that contact to that account for which i am iterating because the contact should be related to that account is it so there is a lookup field on contact which is called account id simply i will assign the account id of the newly created account that triggered my trigger okay uh, each time <coughs> each time i am creating a contact i am linking it with the account of the which is newly created then the next step is you have to insert this contact and yeah make sure you have to follow the best practices you cannot insert a, a, a each account, each contact every time inside the loop because this will hit our dml governor limit which is <clears throat> only 150 if we can use only dml operations only 150 times in our entire trigger context so if you uh, insert the contact here inside the loop each contact then if if there are more than 150 accounts that have been uh, that have triggered this so 150 times the dml operation will run and ultimately your code will fail so what we do is we create a list outside the loop let's create a list of contact okay list of contact cool it is created now we'll just add all those newly created contacts that we want to insert inside this list okay so first i will perform my logic that is create a contact object assign it to, with the account id and then add it into a list and one more thing because there is a there could be my several mandatory fields inside the contact object so you have to fill those otherwise you will get the error required field missing so i understand that there is a field called last name in <coughs> contact object which is mandatory and that you have to fill let's name it as account name plus appended it contact so this will be like uh, accounts name space contact so this is the contact of this account it resembles this one mm, it should be like this okay just separated by a space and then right after the loop just insert those newly created contact objects that i have put inside this list okay although we have to create one contact for each account but still we are keeping all those contacts inside the list and then inserting them inserting them all together <laughs> so we have considered bulk bulkification and followed all best practices let's go and check this out whether it is working fine or not we'll go to accounts tab then create a new account sdc1 let's save it great now in the related tab see this contact got automatically created with the name acc1 space contact great and if you just open it it will have two fields automatically populated which is name and account this is the account id field that we associated this account contact with this account and that is why it was necessary to link this contact with its associated account otherwise it will all it will be created but it won't be linked to the respective account okay cool i hope this is clear thank you goodbye